The next step is to shrink the rejacketing tube into place. This tube is pre-coated with adhesive, so when it shrinks, it will seal completely around the cable jacket at both ends of the splice. As the tube is heated, the adhesive will flow at the ends, indicating that the shrinking is complete. Check that the rejacketing tube has a uniform wall thickness and that there are no flat spots or dimples. Also, make sure the cable is cool to the touch before moving it or placing it into service. When all of the tubes have been properly installed, they'll provide stress control, insulation, shielding, a seal against moisture, and mechanical protection to the splice. In the next segment, we will illustrate the additional steps involved in building a 15 kV three-conductor armored cable splice. When splicing three-conductor power cables, you should prepare each of the three cables using the steps just illustrated. When you are ready to begin the shrinking process, center each black stress control tube over each of the connectors. Then shrink all three at the same time, starting in the center of the tube and working towards the ends, making sure to heat all sides of each tube. After the tubes have shrunk, check that they have a smooth surface and a uniform wall thickness. Then repeat this process to install the red insulating tubes. After shrinking the red insulating tubes, individually wrap each cable with red sealant, making sure that it's butted up against the tubes. Wrap until it's built up to the level of the red insulating tube. Then shrink all three black-red dual-layer tubes simultaneously. If you are working on an armored installation, you should refer to the Raychem Ready Reference Guide for selecting the appropriate splice kits, plus the applicable HVSA kit to be used. If your installation is on interlocked armor or CLX type cable, you should use the Raychem 3 Conductor Armored Cable Splicing Kit, which contains armor wrap. When installing the armor wrap, center it around the splice area. And bind the ends of the armor wrap to the cable. Then abrade the PVC jacket and clean with solvent at each end of the splice. And wrap one layer of red sealant on the abraded area. Next, install the MBSM wraparound sleeve. This sleeve has an aluminized mylar moisture vapor barrier laminated in the sleeve, plus a fiber type weave in the outer layer. First, remove the protective backing. Then, center it over the splice. Now, wrap the MBSM around the splice and install a retention clip onto the butted rails.
Next, slide the metal channels onto the rails and over the clip. The channels should overlap the end of the sleeve by at least a quarter of an inch. Any excess channel can be broken off if necessary. Begin shrinking the MBSM by heating along both sides of the channel, starting in the center and working towards the ends. Then focus the torch at the center of the sleeve, heating around the circumference until it is completely shrunk. The yellow-green thermochromic paint on the surface of the MBSM will turn black when the proper amount of heat has been applied. Work towards the ends of the sleeve, keeping the torch moving around all sides of the cable. It will take several minutes to shrink the entire sleeve. Again, look for a smooth surface with no wrinkles or ridges. Finish up by applying heat to the channel area again until a white line appears under the channel indicating sufficient heating. Also, look for sealant flow at the ends of the sleeve. Make sure that the sleeve is cool to the touch before moving or placing it in service. This completes the instructions on the installation of Raychem's heat shrinkable splices. By following the printed instructions included with each kit and the techniques that have been demonstrated in this program, you should be confident that you are installing a durable and reliable splice. If you have any questions regarding the procedures described in this program, contact your local Raychem representative or call Raychem at 1-800-327-6996.